let's have a look at question 21. So we have a choice between a gamble A, which is a sure win of 100, and B, which is an 80% chance to win 150, and a 20% chance to win 0. In this case, we would pick A. Now, when we have a choice between C, which is a 50% chance to win 100, and a 50% chance to win 0, and an option D, which is a 40 percent chance to win 150 and a 60% chance to win 0, we will choose D. Show that we are inconsistent with the expected utility maximization. So how do we show that? First of all, let's see what are the expected values here and what are the choices. So what is an expected value? The expected value of gamble A is the probability of that outcome times the value of that outcome. So in this case, what is the probability in A? A sure win. Because it's sure, it means it's 100%. 100% we note it at 1 times the value of 100. So that's an expected value of 100. What is the expected value of B? Well, the expected value of B is the probability of B times the value of B. So here we have an 80% probability to win 150, so 0 0.8 times 150 plus a 20% probability, so 0 0.2, to win 0. So the outcome would be just 0, which would give us an expected value of 120. Now between these two, between these two, what do we do? We go for the expected value of A. So we go for the 100. What does it mean? Well, we can see that we go for the higher probability, for the certainty, although we have a lower payoff in expectation. So we prefer certainty over gambling. Here we are more risk averse. We are more careful with the risk. Now let's see what happens in the other choice. When we look at the expected value of C, that's going to be the probability of the outcome and the value of uh, the value of C. Yes. So where is it? It's here. 50% chance to win 100. So that's 0 0.5 times 100 plus 50% chance to win 0, 0 0.5 times 0, which is an expected value of 50. Now let's do the same for the expected value of D. So let's go a bit below. The expected value of D. That's the probability of the outcome D times the value of D. And in D we have 40% chance to win 150, so 0 0.4 times 150 plus a 60% chance to win 0, 60% chance to win 0. If we do the math here, we would have an expected value of 60. And in this case, we go for D. So we choose 60 over 50. What does this mean? Well, we can see that in the, pay in the gamble D, we have a lower probability, 40 versus 50, of winning more, 150 versus 100. And we go for this higher probability, and sorry, for this higher payoff, but lower probability, meaning that we're willing to take the risk, we're willing to gamble, we are more risk seeking here. Now, what does this show us? This shows us the inconsistency that we're trying to prove. We cannot have two utility behaviors. We cannot be both risk averse and risk seeking at the same time. We have to have a strategy. Are we avoiding risk or are we seeking the risk? And in this case, we can see that this is not consistent. In one case, we behave differently than in the other. So that is inconsistent. Consistent. Hope this makes sense and we are done.